All right, so now we're going to do a static cardiology station. Remember, this is where you have to identify four rhythms within a six minute time frame and treat them accordingly to the patient. Watch for key indicators as we go through the station and look for things that I do to make sure I'm successful as I go through. You are a paramedic with an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond with a four person engine company to the following patient. A 10 year old male who was outside playing catch with his father. The ball hit him in the head when he failed to catch the ball. As you arrive, he is crying, but acting appropriately for his age. Vitals are as follows. Pulse matches the monitor. Blood pressure, 100 over 76. Respirations are 36 and crying. Pulse ox, 99% with clear lung sounds. No medical history, no medications, and no known medical allergies. My rhythm is sinus tachycardia, BSI, scene safe, I'll establish an IV prophylactically, place, do an EKG, uh, prepare for transport, O2 is needed, monitor and reassess the patient en route. You are a paramedic with an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond with a four person engine company to the following patient, a 96 year old male whose wife had just passed away two days ago. He has not been eating or drinking anything for the past two days and the family has become concerned with the patient's health. He tells you that his heart is breaking and he does not want to live without his wife. Vitals are as follows. Pulse matches the monitor. Blood pressure, 80 over 40. Respirations are 16 with clear and equal lung sounds. SpO2 is 96% on room air. He says that he does have a pressure in his chest, but only rates it out of 2 out of 10. He has no medical history other than having overcome prostate cancer. He takes aspirin daily and has no known medical allergies. The rhythm is atrial fibrillation. I'll take BSI, my scene is safe. I will place the monitor on the patient, place the defibrillation pads on the patient, do an EKG to confirm the rhythm. I will place an IV and I will go ahead and prepare to cardio over, sink cardio over at the patient at 120 joules. If that is unsuccessful, I will move to 150 joules and then 200 joules lastly. I would consider sedation, however, since the patient is hypotensive, I would withhold. If those were unsuccessful, I could consider calcium channel blockers and beta blockers. I will transport and reassess the patient in route. You're a paramedic with an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond with a four-person engine company to the following patient. A 20-year-old female that suddenly had an onset of chest pain and rates it out of 10 out of 10. She states that she cannot breathe and does not know why. Vitals are as follows. Pulse matches the monitor. Blood pressure is 90 over 40. Respirations are 28 and labored. SpO2 is 96% on room air. She gets very dizzy when she stands up, and upon transfer to your gurney, she becomes unconscious. Unknown history, medications, and allergies. Okay, my rhythm is supraventricular tachycardia. I will first go ahead and confirm that she does still have a pulse. I will place her on the monitor, place the defibrillation pads, get an EKG to confirm, place a large bore IV, and I'll prepare to sink cardio over at the patient since she is unstable. I will start at 50 joules, if that does not work, move up to 100 joules. If that's unsuccessful, 150 joules. Lastly, 200 joules. If that still is not successful, I will then go into adenosine. I will initially give a rapid six milligram IV push, followed by a 20 cc normal saline flush. If that is unsuccessful, I'll move to a 12 milligram adenosine push, followed by a 20 cc flush. Reassess and route, transport, and monitor for any changes. You are a paramedic with an urban EMS system. You and your partner respond with a four-person engine company to the following patient. A 39-year-old male in cardiac arrest. You arrive and the police are doing CPR. You can confirm that the patient is pulseless and apneic and you see the below rhythm on the monitor. So the rhythm is sinus rhythm with a first degree AV block with the condition of PEA. Since I've already confirmed that the patient is pulseless, I'll take my BSI, my scene is safe, I'll have my partner continue chest compressions. I'll go ahead and establish large bore IV access or IO access and prepare to give one milligram of one in 10,000 epinephrine, rapid IV push every three to five minutes since this rhythm is not shockable. I will place pads on the patient if I didn't already do so, reassess and run the code following ACLS protocols. And I'm done with my station. Would you like to make any changes? No ma'am. Okay, now let's talk about how that went. If you notice, with each scenario, I took my time with it. The first thing I did was I would cover up the rhythm strip itself. I made sure I read through the patient's scenario slowly and in its entirety. Why did I do that? 
That's important because I was making sure that I'm treating my patient and not just the rhythm on the monitor. As I went through, I identified if they were stable or unstable, had a pulse or no pulse, and what I was gonna do for them. The key thing with each station is to make sure that you are identifying the rhythm correctly and treating stable versus unstable. If you get the rhythm wrong, your interventions won't count. I went through each algorithm in its entirety, assuming that the strip is continuous and that it does not change. For example, with the supraventricular tachycardia, I started at a cardio version of 50 joules to 100, to then 150 to 200, moved into adenosine as the cardio version was unsuccessful with a six milligram IV push followed by a 20 cc bolus, and then a 12 milligram push followed by a 20 cc bolus, going exactly down my ACLS algorithms. If you notice in some parts of the scenarios, I took a pause or repeated myself to make sure that I was hitting the key points that I needed to to be successful throughout the station. I will place pads on the patient if I didn't already do so. In future videos, we're gonna talk about CHAPS, that algorithm we use to treat unstable versus stable, and talk about the rhythms themselves and how we treat those.